peaches and cream soda shop for our latest edition of Man vs. Park. This is honestly the one that kind of inspired the whole series because uh, it was kind of inspired by the TV show Man vs. Food, where uh, someone ate food they should not have a lot of food. And of course, one of the biggest dishes at Disney World is a dessert that serves four here at Peaches and Cream called the Kitchen Sink. So we have our five competitors who are going to compete to eat uh, a kitchen sink on their own or as a team because they're very tiny uh, today, which I don't know if anyone's ever finished one on their own or if it's even possible, but we're going to find out tonight. The interesting wrinkle is leading up to tonight's recording, uh, we actually had some Wix members sponsor some of the competitors. And so uh, beyond their sponsorship, they were also able to give additional money to Toys for Tots, uh, which will ensure uh, that they are uh, their competitors they've sponsored get some help tonight from me, who is not eating kitchen sink. I did get a No Way Jose though, in fairness. So for every $25 more over the uh, donation amount that we asked for, for them to sponsor a competitor, um, I will help with a single bite of the kitchen sink. Um, but for those of you at home that are unaware of what's in a kitchen sink, I have, I have the list here in front of me. Uh, this is a half a cup of fudge warmed, a half a cup of butterscotch topping warmed, a half a cup of peanut butter topping warmed, it's gonna be warm. Uh, one medium banana, one cinnamon spice cupcake quartered, one angel food cupcake, uh, two four ounce scoops of vanilla, two four ounce scoops of chocolate, two four ounce scoops of strawberry, one four ounce scoop of mint, apparently the mint was a problem, uh, one four ounce scoop of coffee, ice cream, three tablespoons of chocolate syrup, a, a quarter of a cup of marshmallow, a quarter cup of strawberry, and a quarter of a cup of pineapple topping, one 14 ounce can of dairy whipped topping, uh, one brownie, one regular sized candy bar, four chocolate cookies, I feel like I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas, one tablespoon of, of almonds, one tablespoon of dark and white chocolate shavings, one tablespoon of chocolate cookies, one tablespoon of jellied orange slices, one tablespoon of milk chocolate chips, one of peanut butter chips, one of chocolate sprinkles, one of rainbow sprinkles, and we'll end it all with a half a cup of drained maraschino cherries. And that's what each competitor has to eat to win. Um, so the way this will work is if obviously if someone finishes, they win. If multiple people finish, then it's gonna be based on when you finish. And if no one finishes, then we're gonna try to judge who ate the most. And that will determine our winner today on Man vs. Park. Let's do that. This is just my worst enemy, is just sitting down eating dairy. Where is the excitement? I have some ideas for my next Where is the excitement? So I asked Tom, I said, listen, you're all these Man vs. Parks. You got the true champ right here. Invite me to the next one. He invites me to Beaches and Cream. I'm lactose intolerant. But you know what? I'm not turning it down. I'm going in hard. And mine is coming with a little something special on top. Pick your boy. I got this one. But Pete, did you bring a Publix brand probiotic? I am no. But I've been coming with I've reserved the rest of <laughs> so if you uh, looked at my figure and figured I was a favorite and uh, are at the betting window right now thinking I'll win, uh, turn around, put your money back in your pocket. I have no chance. There's no way I'll finish this. All I can do is try to mitigate the consequences. So uh, yes, I did take a, uh, a lactate. I took a probiotic, some fiber, some uh, Zyrtec, uh, and we'll see how far I get. I don't think I have a chance of finishing. We'll just have to see. All right, I am feeling pretty confident about this because I have been training. I have a one and two year old, which means that for a good portion of the past three years, I've been pregnant. And my number one craving was ice cream. I think I can do this. I got this. I'm gonna be like Napoleon in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Let's do this. Okay, I'm excited to eat ice cream. I went to the dentist this morning and got a deep cleaning and two fillings. So my mouth still kind of feels weird, but because I went to the dentist, I've only eaten soup today. So I think there's lots of room for ice cream. My husband lectured me a lot about don't eat too much and don't get sick. And I know you're really competitive and you don't have to win and all that, but ignore him and forget him. And I'm gonna do it. So strategy, one bite at a time. Marathon, not a sprint. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Not particularly looking forward to it, but not not excited. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh God! <laughs> Why are there like? Do I get a head start? 
I don't like it. It's bubbling. Did you see that? It is bubbling. <laughs> Why does so... it have so many cherries? They're like boba balls. <laughs> Boy, Nick might have changed his tune off this if he had known this. Do I have to do the cherries? Can I take the cherries Nick off? Bailed, huh? Take the cherries off. No? That's ridiculous. Push the side. Mmm. Okay. Adequately sized ice cream. Yum. We've decided Pete's kitchen sink, because it's topped with Bailey's, has arrived first and it's starting to melt. We're just going to let Pete start. It's all Am the editors have agreed. Yeah. Pete should start. Start the time. The time is 8.28 p.m. Oh my God. You can tell he's never eaten ice cream before. <laughs> It's gonna be done before we start. This is like when I ran the half marathon, the wheelchair people were finishing before I started. Pete, if you need to add more toppings, you just have to turn the faucet in. <laughs> I'll see everybody uh, in two weeks. I thought it was a drinking challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go around. Where does this one go? That's two. Oh, there you go. Oh, theirs don't look that big. And right here? Thank you so much. Absolutely, guys. And boy, Wow, that's It looks bigger when it's in front of you versus in front of me. You know. Uh, this is much larger than I was anticipating. I'm going to have to call in some reinforcements. Hey, Maddie. Oh, there's How are you? Yeah. Can you film the beaches and cream? I can be there in a hot second. There's strawberry on the bottom. That's gross. And it was all vanilla. It's like the spoon a soccer mom has on her kitchen wall. Where it says eat. <laughs> Wait, I only have 700 calories left of the day. 831. I'm, I'm doing the opposite of Pete, and I'm gonna start with only two. I've never felt so inadequate. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> wow. What is that? What is that? Is that an orange? Yes. I feel like Napoleon. Yes. Ziggy, piggy, ziggy, piggy. Ziggy, piggy, indeed. I'm gonna do like Pete, set aside the chair. You see where he's gonna go on the side? Strategies being formed. I haven't even tasted ice cream yet. It's just been like my life. This is all. This is throwing me up. There's different flavors of ice cream. I thought it was just vanilla. The jellied orange slices are really good. Oh, the jellied orange slices really threw me for a loop. Yeah. I think Pete legitimately didn't know there were other flavors of ice cream. That also made me true. Don't, people don't know this. Pete doesn't eat dessert. You don't eat dessert. I don't right? eat dessert. Yeah. Plain ice cream. He likes plain ice cream. I like, when I was a kid, I used to like plain vanilla ice cream. Oh, God. Soft serve? As or? The, uh, either way, like Briars, like it was a special occasion. Carvel ice cream cake. I love that. I love that you're just keeping a close up on Eric, and Eric's literally going like shielding the camera, even though we're doing a filmed event about eating ice cream, and he's like, no. You're getting kind of bold. I hate it. <laughs> These aren't even working sinks. I mean, it fits Disney World. <laughs> Thanks, JPEG. Came and washed my hands. They're sticky AF. You got emotions. I have the stickiest hands right now. I thought being pregnant for the past uh, two years was going to be an advantage. But I think after watching this, my, I'm never going to have to worry about having baby number three because my husband is not going to want to go for another baby. I got pregnancy cravings when it comes with this. No. What is this disgusting green ice cream on the bottom? Oh, me. It's me. I'm going to chocolate chip. He didn't know about the pizza. Yes. I can't say on camera the things I'd rather eat than this mint green ice cream in this bowl. 
I don't, I've tasted some of those liquid magic drinks. It oh. can't be that bad. It's liquid magic. All right, new strategy. Now I'm eating all the top because I found out that the devil's ice cream is on the bottom. So I'm gonna try to save that for the end. That way if I throw up, it tastes the same as mint ice cream. So I'm gonna do everything on top first. Is there any competitive? So for those who donated, what happened was they donated $150 just to sponsor an individual to be here this evening. Uh, beyond that, for every $25 in addition they donated to Toys R Tots, I have to help with a bite of uh, oh, bite? some of this. Yeah. For, a bite for each $25. Uh, so. Do you bite with my stuff or yours? A bite. Do we pick for your opinion? You can, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, Gary, Gary is, and Jake could also you, help if they want. They haven't eaten anything. I'm going to give you a bowl. Give him a bowl. Here, Gary is. No way. Where was his work? Where was his work? Where was his Sponsorship thing, you know. Hold on. I had another sponsorship. So Super Spider-Man and Wig, Wig Sport sponsored Mr. Eric Morton. Eric was sponsored for two fifty, which means that's a hundred dollars over. Waiting for us outside. If you want to put four four bites, that's such a cheap. Okay, how many bowl. cherries is one bite? Yeah. Give them all the cherries. I think a cherry you is one keep bite. You got the integrity of the competition. One cherry is one bite. I think so. you can't just eat four charities at once with stems. Sure you could. Fine, all right. So dig it, whatever you want to eat, whatever you're cooking, whatever you want I'm to giving this to Jake, so. <laughs> whatever you wish to contribute. Jake needs to be punished. You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, Jake, you want, what do you want? I feel like you take a clean spoon. Do you want, do you want to lose some, something heavy? Yeah, yeah, take something heavy. That's like two bites, right? That's, okay. that's seven, that's two bites. Do you want to lose an Oreo? No, take like more cake. So just these. So you want to just yeah, yeah, yeah. use it on me? It's just so rich. All right. Is that four cake, bites? Tom, you should just feel my stomach. Thank no, you very much. It is legit convulsive. So Insider One, Insider One on which score was nice enough to sponsor Desi and Maddie. Yay! But only gave one fifty. Oh so, no! Typically that would be no help, but I'm gonna I'm gonna one one thing. You want to give me one baked good out of there? That brownie. Pick that, a baked good. That no, brownie. Pick, pick a baked good and throw it in. Just, just throw it at you. Don't grab it. You just, I don't, you just, I don't Do we have? Here, here use this. Here. Oh, wait, here. This one has been used. There you go, Daddy. You have a brownie. Enjoy. <laughs> I like that Pete's, Pete's lined up all the cake around the brownie. I have a good idea. <laughs> No one can get into Pete's dessert now. Oh no, this is a castle wall. Whoever comes in last place has to go watch Harmonious. Uh, Jordan Garrett was nice enough to sponsor Pete. Uh, and he, Pete, he donated $300. Five bites. Six bites. Six <laughs> bites. Six bites down the richer. You don't know the bed? <laughs> so six bites. I just want to get rid of the mint ice cream. Can I go from the bottom up? Yeah, sure. See, let's see how much mint ice cream is actually in. All right, let's. I just want the mint ice cream out. Let's see so. how many bites we think there are. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Okay. That's one more. I just don't want any of the coffee ice cream. Which one? Coffee? Yeah. Okay, I'll eat that one. Five bites. That is like a whole bowl of ice cream. No, this is just this is just the the one mint. More. One more. One more. All right, fine. Let me just get the mint. Make it count. Let's do it. Let's do it. Coffee? I think I just got a strawberry. Let's go on. It's all becoming very blended. Mint ice cream, strawberries, coffee, peanut butter. I'm never eating ice cream again. Nope, done forever. No one sponsored coffee. I feel, I feel worse eating this than I felt no, drinking I around the world and going on mission space. Where do people go to sponsor? You have to be a Wigs member, so if you know a Wigs member, you can do this, you can still do this. Colleen is trying to find a Wigs member to sponsor. <laughs> 
We have someone sign up. <laughs> Mama, are you a Wigs member? Could you be? <laughs> so I'm currently um, eating a kitchen sink that's for four just by myself. But if you sponsor me, then Tom has to eat part of it. It's for charity, Mom. Don't you want to help the children? I didn't know they were coming into. I'll eat the fish. I should not have done half of the things I did today if I knew I was doing this. How is it different from any other? I have no idea how it is. What are the this rules happen. on throwing up? I was wondering. She just becomes a Wigs member and then what? Dollars. Hey, Mom, hold on a second. You're going to talk less than two dollars. Don't put me on the phone. <laughs> He's going to do it. All right, so my strategy right now is I have an early lead and see if anyone catches up. And if they do, get back in there, get hungry, eat my heart out. But right now, my body is tapping out, so I'm going to wait and watch until you, like, anyone gets close. Let's see how it goes. I will never eat ice cream ever again. Me either. This general area of the month, is that the coffee? Um... I think it was some kind of vanilla. Oh. This one just looks like a 30s monster movie. <laughs> so she's just gonna come and eat a town of people. Yeah. Maddie, how are you doing? You were, you were very certain about this coming in. She is a champ. She's doing good? She can eat. Oh. Maddie, she can't even said a word. She's been face down, spoon up. <laughs> yeah, it's sure. just mush sure. now. I'm like, this I don't is, know. Uh, this is usually what happened to me at Tony. <laughs> I put the spoon in, I'm like, what is this? Trying to identify things. <laughs> what is that, a meatball or a crouton? <laughs> they have the same consistency, it's unknown. Oh. Imagine, oh, I touched the bottom of the ball. Yeah. <laughs> One time when I was uh, live streaming, I hear, we're on the ferry boat, and I hear a, a little kid go, that's a vlogger. <laughs> I'm never going to gastrointestinally recover from this. <laughs> I think his challenges keep getting harder because I couldn't catch any water in my cup on Splash Mountain. Oh, is that what it was? You're trying to catch oh, water? Get all this stuff, like he's got them up out of there. <laughs> Swear sure. knocks the Oreo further out. No, no, no. So I ate a lot of the Oreos. It's the cake and brownies I took yeah, out. Yeah, you gotta like get them out of the way and you can see the bottom and it's inspiring. I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Let's go, baby. If we would have done this by ourselves, it would be like barely, like barely, just barely underneath. We're doing this as a team and I think they're still beating us. It's sort of turning into soup. I know, and that like makes it worse in a way because it's like, well, it's not. At all appetizing anymore. Because now it's just like a weird soup. Oh, yes. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't order tops? I mean, it's in I'm going to have one. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be. Why do you need a top? Wait, Colleen's got one top. Oh. I don't know that. Oh, oh God. That's yeah. Guys, it's for the tots. Oh, it's for the tots. Oh, yeah, these are good. The best part about those tots is the. um. Minty cherry maraschino <laughs> vanilla Oreo cupcake finish. I, how many cherries? I've eaten like 12 cherries. I got a bowl of like another dozen, and there's still a whole family living in here. Every time I think I'm done with the cherries, I put my spoon oh, look, in, and I'm cherry. like, oh, that's another cherry. Some it's of them the might be tree. strawberry no. chunks from the strawberry. I can do the two. Yeah, you got those strawberry chunks. I'm trying to see the bottom. We got a ways to go. I still have a solid lead. I feel confident. The girls are still doing work though. Yours pretty good. I don't know. They're gonna win. Because look, yours looks more empty than it is because All right, simmer down. I got to say. I really want some tater tots. This is all going into the hollow leg. Like, badness level. I, my badness level is already getting up. Maddie coming out of nowhere and now separating. Oh, don't. Also, Copying you now. Also, how many children between the two of you? Three? 
Should they be in this? No. no. They don't work with anything, right? Exactly. That's a weird choice. Like, everything else seems normal. The, the orange slice things seem like a weird thing. It's an orange slice candy thing. That's so weird. It is, and it tastes, it's very good. It's too weird. It's like a It's like a It's like a It just doesn't make sense. I want to remark that everyone on this side appears to be done. Colleen's moved to dinner. Um, but then Maddie and Desi are still going strong down here. They have not thrown in the towel just yet. I'm sorry, not the towel, the paper napkin just yet. They would have to send it back to the No, I told her there was no room. I just want to watch TV. We've reached a point where I can't judge until everyone is done. So I need to know that everyone is done before we decide who's one. I'm ringing out like the Navy Seals. Done. Pete, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. 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 Are you done? You two are done. Our sink is done. 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 He's not worth the body. Okay. So now we're gonna spin our poop back. Put, put all your stuff back in your bowl. Everything out of the bowl's got to go back in the bowl. Just <laughs> So Pete's got a lot of cake. That's actually not that bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, but I'm still pretty low. I feel good about this. I also went very hammer in the beginning. Cherry's not gonna stay. Like cherry on top. Uh, right to the top of the spoon. Yeah, do that, Pete. Let's do the spoon. Was that the little spoon? Yeah, the little spoon. So little spoon. I can just see the actual spoon part. Like, touch the bottom. If I'm on the bottom. All right, Pete, Pete definitely He's got me. more than Eric. He's got me. So Pete's in the lead. Colleen. Oh. A lot of her stuff has some skin yet. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta stuff all that under water. Pete's looks wrong. It's yeah. fine. Everything will be I'm okay with it. Pete's in the lead. All right. Oh, they won. Oh, that's a big deal. I'm losing the two games. I think Desi and Maddie are our champions. I think in this battle of Man versus Park, Desi and Maddie have won. Congratulations, ladies. I don't know what you win. Have them, buy, have, them, you have them box the sink up for engraving. Who was the power? We've all died. We've all died inside of them. Okay, okay. Well, you did a great job. You look great doing it. So, we're <laughs> very welcome. Absolutely. I mean, uh, give you a compliment. The potato cuts coming all night. <laughs> Everyone's kitchen sink looks the same on here except for one. There. To be honest, I feel like I should have won. Mine has more liquid in it. It's listed as eight toppings, I think. I added eight extra toppings. So how do I not win this battle? Unbelievable. You don't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, Spoon. We had a good run together. I'll never let go. No. No. No! No! <laughs> what time is harmonious? Haven't you punished yourself enough? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Alright, we're done. Uh, I didn't win. 
I, I didn't expect to win. I didn't expect to make a very big dent in this. Um, right now, though, I got to be cautious about burps and other things. Just do them very carefully uh, until the coast is clear. Stomach's a little rumbly. Don't feel good. I kind of wish I had had some of those tater tots like everybody else. Maybe that's the secret. I don't know. The girls, congratulations. Maddie and Desi, they were an amazing team. And uh, I'll just go back and start training, and maybe next year we'll do this again, and I can, uh, I can win. So I thought this was honestly going to be a lot easier than it was. I don't know why, but I felt really confident going in. And then I just, just gave up because I don't feel good. My stomach hurts a little bit, and I want to take a nap. So, you know. And it eventually really just started to look gross. So even if you could have eaten more, I didn't want to because it was this weird soup-like thing. Is anyone else having automatic emergency diarrhea? Because I am. Is this Mr. JPEG? I'll wait. I have done every man versus private challenge thus far. I think this was the hardest. This was hardest. This was I wanted to puke the way that I did for the first one with the drinking around the world and going on mission space. I had a cup full of disgusting stuff, just like the Splash Mountain Challenge. So, but thank God for Maddie, because I don't think I could have done it without her. This was much harder than I had anticipated. I was thinking I was definitely going to be able to do this by myself. 100% not the case. We didn't even finish our whole thing, but we did win. Yes, girl power. It's, my teeth feel like they're coated in yeah. sugar. I feel like I want to go run around the block, but I also want to just fall down and take a nap. Let's go rent a Zuri bike. Let's this off. Yeah, that's a good one. I could not finish my No Way Jose. It was just too, it was too much. Um, so in the end, I think we realized that no one, I don't know that there's a human on earth that can finish the kitchen sink. Uh, maybe in a couple of years we'll revisit that again. But uh, two human beings came the closest, which makes them the winner. Everyone decided that was fair. So Maddie and Desi are uh, your champions today on uh, Man versus Park. They conquered, well, mostly the kitchen sink and beaches and cream. Nobody won here today. Thanks for watching.